Howdy, my name is Joseph. Um, responding to this post you made up here on Upwork. Okay, so first things first, I have no idea what your company's called. All I know is that you guys need a, a really good SEO. All right. So when it comes to IT service in Houston, not sure if you guys are already up here. Not sure if you guys are already in the top ten. All right, but pretty much if you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby. So check it out. I'm just gonna go over the key elements. All right. I know you guys wanna see some fancy href tools and fmrush tools. That's just for like research, all right? And, and keeping track of like what you guys have going on. But anyways, number one is the map listing, and that has to be optimized, like 100% optimized. All right. Number two is the citations. We'll be running citations to your NAP info, name, address, phone number. Okay. We got to do more than a competition. That's why I like to do hundreds of them because sometimes they take longer to index. All right. So, and then after that, okay. Well, citation is when your NAP info is being cited on like different social media platforms, business directories, uh, local chamber of commerce, stuff like that. After that is content. Okay. High authoritative content. All right, what up? this is what happens whenever you have high authoritative content. Now these guys have some of their pages indexed down here. You see like this, the about us solutions. That's because they are pretty much dominating. Anytime someone like their their pages are pretty are authoritative. Like let's just look at their career page. I don't know if this if this is yours or not. But for whatever reason, Google thinks this is like a really good career page on, you know, this, this uh, niche or this service. So the goal is to get you guys pushed up here and have all of your pages, all your main tabs on your website being indexed like this. Okay. Some of them aren't doing that, right? Because they probably are slacking on the content on those pages okay also when someone searches for you know not just a keyword but people search for questions on this let me let me let me so i'm just on uh cloud space usa they are also it so they have different topics okay and whoever can answer some of the best questions and have some of the most authoritative content surrounding these services like network support services is who's going to be the most authoritative person in that space i hope this is making sense so this is what makes you the authority on these different topics okay so like cloud solutions who has the best content on this this is who's gonna okay green business home business limited liability company so that's going to be the difference between an seo a low quality and a high quality seo Right, building quality content around all these. I can't find any interlinks on any of these pages, but also you want to interlink everything to each other. Just because, like, okay, we have a you know cloud IT. Just because on your homepage you mention cloud IT doesn't necessarily mean that link or that word has to go to that. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to find an example. Really can't right now, but let's say like business IT. You can interlink this word to the, the actual business IT page, or you can link it to a different page just to have some links, you know, interlinking each other. So anyways, back on topic. So after that, we'll just be backlinking using high authority backlinks. Okay. Quality backlinks, not, not the spammy stuff from, you know, overseas and whatnot, like actual high, high authoritative you know, websites that deal with IT services and whatnot to make it more relevant because we have to have relevant topicals. All right. So this is kind of, you know, quick. I didn't, I didn't get into, you know, the HF HFs, right? Because I mean, that's extra stuff. It's just keeping track of the competitors. You went seeing what you guys rank for, seeing what your competitors are doing, how much are they paying? What, what, you know what what how like what kind of keywords are they paying for right so uh hopefully this is kind of informative if you have any more questions just get with me